Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking all about Thailand tourist visas, whether you need one, how you can get one and all of that sort of stuff. I've just had my visa approved last week so I thought it would be good to kind of tell you guys how I applied and just a disclaimer, I am English, I'm living in London so this is for UK citizens, British citizens and I'm not an expert but this is just from my own experience of having my visa approved and what I've seen online. I'm going to jump straight into the first question, do you need a visa if you want to visit Thailand? So it completely depends on how long you're going for and what you're going for. If you are going for less than 30 days and you're going just for tourism to see the country or you're going for a holiday then you do not need a visa. Because our plan are to stay in Thailand for two months we of course did need to apply for a 60-day tourist visa how do you apply for a 60-day tourist visa luckily now there is a Thai e visa system so back in the day you had to go to the Thai embassy to get a visa but now you can do it all online which is so good all you have to do is head to the Thai e visa website which I will put on the screen here and I'll also put in the description below create an account and then you will just need to select that you want to apply it for a visa and it will give you the different options of visas that are available. So if you're wanting to go for more than 30 days like me, if you're backpacking, if you're doing the digital nomad thing, then you will need a 60 day tourist visa. You can get a 30 day extension on top of that. So it's a 90 day visa, but you have to apply for that while you're there as an extension. So there are quite a lot of documents that you need to submit for the 60 day visa. The first thing you need is a scan of your passport you will need a passport style photo taken within the last six months this doesn't have to be a, a like really professional passport photo you don't have to go to a, a booth or anything I literally had my mom just take a picture of me passport style pose and they accepted that you also will need a photo of you holding up your passport next to your face with the information page like up to the camera so that in the photo they can actually see the text in your passport information page. You will need to submit a bank statement because you have to prove that you have a minimum of 10,000 baht per person. Don't worry, it sounds like a lot in pounds. It's only 233 pounds, 36 pence. So as long as you have a bank statement that shows that you have that in your account, then it's fine. You will also need to submit your proof of address to show that you're a British citizen. I just used my bank statement. It had my address on it. You will need proof of your flight into the country and your flight out of the country. You will also need to submit the address and the booking confirmation for the first place that you're staying, whether it's a hotel, a hostel, an Airbnb. I made a really silly mistake and I thought they needed all of the accommodations because we're staying at like four or five different places. I basically booked everything up front when I didn't need to. I was so annoyed and then I submitted it all and I realized actually you only need to put in there the first place that you're staying. So don't make the same mistake that I did. This is a bit of a random one, but they also need to see the stamps from the past 12 months. So anywhere that you've been where they've stamped your passports, for example, I've been to Italy and Mexico, so I just took a picture of those stamps in my passport and submitted those. So when you're on the e-visa portal, they will only allow you to basically submit one document per question. For the flight booking, I have one flight booked from London to Bangkok, and then I have another flight booked from um, Thailand to Cambodia. So I had to compile those two documents into one because they only allow you to um, upload one PDF or document, which is really annoying. But I just used Canva. I'm sure there's lots of tools online that you can also use where you can submit two or three PDFs and it will compile it into one for you. Something I was really confused about on the e-visa system, when you're applying for a tourist visa, there are a couple of mandatory questions that ask super random stuff that does not apply to a tourist visa. For example, it says, um, submit a letter from the friend or relative inviting you to stay in Thailand which if you're going on a tourist visa, you probably don't have someone inviting you. We don't, we're just going to an Airbnb and some hotels. So I, I didn't have anything to submit for that. And the second thing is having a letter from your employer in Thailand, which again, if you're a tourist, you're not going to have an employer in Thailand, but don't worry, I had a look online and I found this TripAdvisor thread. They basically just said, upload any documentation there because you cannot physically put NA and you can't ignore the question because it doesn't let you get to the next step. So here I literally just uploaded my bank 
bank statement again and I uploaded the accommodation booking. I was a bit worried, but it got approved. How much is the Thailand tourist visa? It is only 30 pounds, but something to bear in mind is that once you've put in all of your documentation and your information, they will take you to the payment process where you will have to pay the 30 pounds before they've reviewed your application. So double, triple check that all of your information is correct. Make sure there's no typos in your name. I don't know how strict they are, but I've read that if you have like a typo in your name or something doesn't match what it says in your passport, they will reject you and you will lose your 30 pounds. It's non-refundable. So make sure you check everything before you submit. How long does it take for the visa to be granted? Um, I submitted mine on the Saturday and it got approved on the next Wednesday. So that's literally three working days. They do say it can take up to 14 days. Um, on their website, they also say they advise you to apply for the visa 30 days Days before you travel so obviously it's best to do it as far in advance as possible because they won't take responsibility if they are unusually busy or they can't get the visa approved for you in time for your trip will the visa be posted to me no it's all online so they'll send you an email saying that your visa has been approved and there'll be a QR code I would obviously advise you to print this document in case your phone runs out of battery or anything like that um, but I'm sure they'll also be able to accept it if you show it to them on your phone too. So that's how I got the 60 day tourist visa. It's pretty simple once you know how, but like I said, there were a couple of things that I was super confused about and I was worried that the application would be rejected. Luckily it hasn't, I'm so excited. Um, me and my boyfriend have both had our visas approved now. So we are pretty much ready to go. And we still have the research to do for Cambodia and Vietnam. We've done a little bit of research on the visa requirements, um, but I might do another video for those when the time comes. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with all my travels this summer. I'll also be posting on YouTube and TikTok. All the links will be in the description below. And it would mean so much if you did subscribe to me.